Today is day 52 of the Internal Family Systems Self-Therapy Reflections. And we've been talking about the module around the depressant or depression protector as a module and as a type of subpersonality or psyche as part of the parts work. And we've been investigating the different types of protectors as it relates to depression. And we have also been talking the last couple of days about the different types of exiles or burdened, wounded children that these protectors have been trying to protect. And so today we're gonna to be talking about the wounded child or the exile that actually is feels deprivation. So it's the deprivation exile. This deprivation exile has probably got some kind of abandonment wound. So as a young child, toddler, or young person, you might've had some traumatic experience where you may have never made the proper connection with your caregivers. Oftentimes this is specifically associated with your mother. And we oftentimes call this the insecure attachment. So for whatever reason, there may have been a lack of not getting enough love, not enough nurturing, caring, coddling, kissing, caressing, holding, embracing, hugging. You may have actually not had enough touch, enough speaking, you may not have even had enough feeding, so either breastfeeding or food. Um, you may have actually not, you may have actually been hungry. Um, you may have actually been left in your crib or your bed crying without any nurturing or support. Um, and so these might have left indelible marks in your internal psyche that have left you wounded. So a feeling of abandonment and deprivation. So this is a very serious thing, and so it's incredibly unfortunate. And people who have these kinds of deprivation wounds do grow up feeling very alone in life. They have a very um, deep inability to connect with people in a deep way or the ability to truly love in a deep, meaningful, connected way. Not only love or connection with other external relationships, but even with oneself. And so one of the things that the depressant protector will do is embalm this exile and try to prevent further trauma or deprivation by not allowing you to connect and to feel residence, not only with yourself, but with other people with the hope and the intention of trying to get you to no longer feel deprivation. So if it locks you in, the already deprived mode that you're in and not get into any other relationships that may cause further harm to that wounded child. That's why depression comes in to further protect you from exacerbating the deprivation feeling. So that is the intention of the depression part. You can care and love it for it and appreciate its, its intention, although you can realize that you don't like its, its effect. The effect is that the exile or the, 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 the deprived exile feels depression. So you may not appreciate that, that part of it. So um, what's really important here is individuals who have that and suffer from that can be in a place where they're not connecting with people, they're not feeling resident, they may feel foggy parts, they may not, not even feel connected in their own body. And there can be a, a whole slew of other psychological issues, um, components to the depression that may also be rearing its head um, in your life or the life of somebody that you know or care for or has been part of your past. And deep down inside, there's a fear that, your, um, that the depressant protector feels that you will not be able to survive any exacerbation of feeling deprived. So the two kind of go hand in hand. So this again is a fairly serious issue, is something that requires an accredited therapist, um, somebody who has the ability and the wherewithal and the training to be able to lead you through this process. But this is something that, you know, today is an invitation for the reflection, either for somebody that you know or for yourself, either you're experiencing this today or something you've experienced very seriously in the past and have actually now gone through um, it is an opportunity to reflect on this exile, on this wounded child that has come and emerged and survived a very traumatic, 
um, emotionally depleting, deprived uh, past. And kudos and congratulations to you for being here today, to be listening to this video, to be leaking, looking and seeking assistance, and to be able to feel the courage to be able to reflect, to unblend, and to observe this exile like an external person from who your highest self is. That is just a part. That is not who you are. There is hope. There is an ability to separate, to observe, and to heal and unburden this exile. But today's reflection is really just an opportunity to take note, to observe, to look and see what that exile looks like. What is it saying to you? How old is that child? Where did it get locked into? What is it saying, its voice, its persona? Giving it a personality, a name, and a voice will help you to unblend and to watch it like a movie. When you feel criticism or feel depressed or feel the deprivation, you are still blended and it might take a lot of time and work to get through that to have the ability to watch it. This is an invitation to know that this may take many days. It could take weeks, months, if not years. This conversation may have to be something you continue to do over and over, almost like a habit stack, like a, a regular routine that you do with yourself in a meditation, in a time of quiet, when you close your eyes, when you're in journaling mode, uh, when you're having a conversation with somebody that you trust and love, or with somebody else who is doing parts work. Look at the trailhead and the triggers. Who are the people, places, and things that trigger this exile of feeling depression, of feeling this deprivation? So please leave some comments below if you have had any success with the exploration of your, your deprived exile, um, or let us know if something else has come up for you that was either positive or troubling or negative. Um, feel free to like this video or share it with people who you think could also benefit. I would really appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel. And until next time, my friends, live unfettered.